my right was hood. I might get to it. Not out the woods, so bro, I got to do it. Be a monster. That's why my mantra is being onslaught. From the long star to my lungs. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Real Talk. I'm your host, Jerees, and good news, ladies and gentlemen, I have officially turned 28 years old today. Even though there's a Klansman around every corner lurking in every bush, right? But anyway, um, so today we have a another young woke politician. Another one. Yeah, um, we're just gonna call her Alexandria Ocasio Cortez 2.0. So, the title of the article is "Former Stripper Alexandra," just literally missing the I in her fucking name. Um, Alexandra Hunt running for Congress as soft on crime candidate. But before. I get into the article. Let's look at her political campaign ad. I never thought to run for a political office. I'm a researcher and a soccer coach, an advocate and an organizer. All right. So if you never thought for thought of running for political office, why are you doing it right now? But as I've watched jobs slip from people's grasp, houses seize, bankruptcies file, and the next meal become a question. I realize there's no more time to wait for change. I don't come from money or a powerful family. My parents are both educators and I grew up alongside a twin brother who struggled with a learning disability in a world that was not meant to see him succeed. Oh, and I don't know if any of y'all caught that, but notice she didn't mention stri- <clears throat> notice she didn't mention stripper. She completely glossed over that one. I've waited tables, struggled with student debt, Hold on, hold on, hold the phone. She struggled with student debt. How much does the congressman make? 174,000. So, yeah, this is just another way she's just using this to pay back her student loan debt. If we're being completely honest, then, like, the goal is basically to become a, the new Nancy Pelosi, if we're, if we're being 100% real with ourselves. But, you know, a lot of people won't call that part out and put the work in to become a survivor, not a victim, of sexual assault. My vision for America is grounded in our humanity, to be a country that values both inclusivity and diversity. God, here we go. We need to be inclusive and diverse, because America isn't diverse enough. We need to extend more opportunities to people of color. And uh, people of different sexualities. And, oh God. And seeks to restore and rehabilitate rather than punish and penalize. Working within the realm of public health, I've seen families struggle with poverty, with drug addiction, homelessness, a lack of health care, and a lack of mental health support. Okay, and I'm going to be the guy who says, um, yeah, not all homeless people are homeless just because... Um, the system is so bad and broken. At least some of them are out there because they don't want to have a job. And, or they couldn't work two jobs for a little bit to, you know, put away a little bit of money and to avoid being homeless. Like, it's, it's not always the system's fault. You just got to accept the fact that sometimes people are lazy. We need a representative who stands by the needs of the people and champions real change. My opponent campaigned on universal health care yet failed to vote for Medicare for All. He played a key role in the shifting landscape of education in Philadelphia, setting up charter schools that took voice away from educators and parents and led to further segregation within our school system. He has a history of voting on behalf of his corporate donors funding his campaign, but we need a- Um, hey, um. I'm about to end this man's whole career. Alexandra, um, I don't know if you know this, but all politicians vote on behalf of their special interest and corporate donors. Just just sit and let that marinate for a second. A representative who cannot be bought and works only to serve the needs of our people. 
and I'm assuming you can't be bought, right? <laughs> oh god, I'm assuming this this woman is uh, magically immune from being bought by somebody waving fucking two hundred thousand dollars in her face. That that definitely wouldn't buy her, right? We need to reinvest in education and give power back to teachers and parents. No, how about we just give it back to the parents instead of these woke liberal teachers who are teaching about sexuality and gender identity in school and shit. That, that would be a good thing, but oh yeah, and critical race theory. Even, they, even though it's not real, it's, it's not real. <laughs> critical race theory is not real, but you know. <laughs> Provide universal child care. Oh God. More taxes. Support the Green New Deal. A uh, stupid plan and more taxes. Increase the minimum wage. Uh, that's going to increase the price of goods and services because if everybody's making $10 an hour, guess what? Your bread's going to have to be $7 to compensate for it. But Pass Medicare for all. More taxes. And fight for criminal justice reform. And uh, yeah, let's, let's put more idiots back on the streets. Got it. You know, with the whole uh, ending cash bail and things of that nature. I'm running for Congress, not only to answer to the cries of our children, but to amend for the transgressions of my ancestors. Oh my God! Wow. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, Alexandra. You're, you're amending for the transgression of your ancestors. Oh, praise the white savior. Praise her. Oh my God. Praise her. And then here, let me let me rewind it because she says something very interesting. I'm running for Congress not only to answer to the cries of our children, but to amend for the transgressions of my ancestors. No, bitch, you running for Congress to get rid of that damn student loan debt. <laughs> But we won't talk about that. <laughs> it's time to invest in America's true potential and build the world we all want to be a part of. Hope is on our side. Let's put policy on it, too. My name is Alexandra Hunt, and I'm running for the third congressional seat of Pennsylvania to take our struggle, our ideas, and our fight all the way to Washington. Ah, <sighs> yeah, it's so bad. All right, so the article from New York Times. Former stripper Alexandra Hunt running for Congress as soft on crime candidate. Oh, my God. Yeah, get hyped, boys. <laughs> so the article reads, well, here. Nah, I'm not playing this video. I've had enough for her, actually. So the article reads, good luck pulling this one off. An ex-stripper from New York left behind her platform shoes for a political platform. <laughs> Not funny. <laughs> Running for Congress in Philadelphia's troubled 3rd District. Alexandra Hunt, 28, stripped during college to pay the bills. Um, she wrote recently in Daily Cost. Coast? Cost? I don't fucking know. And not only is she unapologetic about her former career that she didn't mention in her campaign ad, but um, yeah, her t-shirt... Or her campaign website offers t-shirts reading, I may have danced for money, but I'm no corporate whore. And elect hoes. Well, I think it should read, I may have danced for money, but I'm no corporate whore. Yet. But, you know. Once she gets in, she'll be like the rest. Um, like uh, AOC at the freaking uh, red carpet Met Gala thing with the tax the rich dress. Like. That's what this is gonna turn into. We are, we already know it. Oh man, she used to fear the age-old stigma attached to sex work, but, and she said she was fired as a girls' soccer coach when the team found out, because, God forbid, uh, parents don't want um their children to be uh, getting coached by a stripper, and they were like, Oh hell no. But I'm sure they were racist, misogynist, bigoted, um, yeah, some, something among those lines. Something is something phobe. We already, we already know how it goes. Hi, yeah, yeah. But now she's shouting about it from the rooftops in hopes to decriminalize sex work. 
even though she was sexually assaulted, she wants to decriminalize sex work. Makes perfect sense, I guess. Not that not that there's anything wrong with it, I guess, but, I mean, hey, do you? Hey, get it how you live, but, I mean... I'm just saying from the person from the point of view of somebody who was sexually assaulted trying to decriminalize it does not seem to make any sense. I mean, I could see if you know if she sold ass for money and was like, "Yeah, you know, nothing bad has ever happened to me, so I feel that we should decriminalize it, but you know, freaking pork. ah But, you know, reasons. Says, my involvement in sex work was very dangerous. If I had gone missing, like so many other sex workers do, no one would have known how or where to find me. I began speaking about sex work and my personal involvement in the industry on the campaign trail, she wrote. Again, she's blatantly saying it was dangerous and I was assaulted, but she still wants to decriminalize it. But it just goes to show how fake this whole thing is. And she's just doing it, or she's just talking about it as a talking point because she knows that she's trying to appeal to a certain base. Uh, But hey. And then we have right here, congressional candidate Alexander Hunt advocates for the legalization of sex work. And then congressional hopeful Alexander Hunt has admitted to having an abortion and being sexually assaulted. Oh, God. It says the young leftist described having an abortion and suffering sexual assault on social media. The fan of Representative Alexandria Ocasio Cortez is seeking office in a mostly black, strongly democratic uh, congressional district because, of course, we have to have uh, the white savior come and save the poor blacks. So, you already know how that goes. <laughs> like, you know, these white liberals and their white guilt and their Jesus complex all at the same damn time. Fucking weird. Strongly uh, Democratic Congressional District represented by Democratic Representative Dwight Evans, a Philly native who in the 1990s pushed the city to adopt New York's tough on crime broken windows tactic even bringing on former NYPD commissioner Bill Bratton to consult. Uh, so that's, that's, that's really the TLDR version of this story. She was a stripper. Now she wants to be a congresswoman, just like how AOC was a bartender. Now she wants to be a congresswoman. They just want the salary, and once they get in, they're going to be the same corrupt political elites just like everybody else, and... We need to do Medicaid for all or Medicare for all and the Green New Deal and universal child care. Basically everything to raise your taxes so they can have a higher tax revenue to budget and redistribute in the way that they want. But we all know one of their top priorities is always um, voting on giving themselves raises. So, yeah, I I don't I don't know, guys. I don't know. (laughs) I honestly don't. What it is like? This is America. What do we do at this point? But again, yeah. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. If I made a little bit of sense, if I made a lot of sense, if I made too much sense, comment down below. And we're at sixteen hundred. We're going strong, guys. So remember, like and share. Maybe somebody you know needs to see this to get a wake up call. But I'm gonna throw a poll out later today to see if. Anybody would be interested in doing a live call-in show. So, um, yeah, look out for that poll. And it's been your boy, Jerese, back with another episode of Real Talk. And I'll catch y'all in the next video. I'm out of here, y'all.